How to open a Windows command prompt. The Windows command prompt is a Windows shell that allows you to execute command by typing a min and pressing enter on the keyboard. Stemming from the Microsoft DOS operating system. This command prompt has continued to be available in Windows and allows administrators and users to quickly execute commands that manipulate Windows and the file system. To learn more about how to use the command prompt once it is opened, you can read our introduction to the Windows command prompt article. If you want to open an elevated command prompt, which is one that runs with administrator privileges, you can see the how to open a Windows 10 elevated command prompt article instead. You can launch the Windows command prompt directly from the start menu by typing CMD into the search field as shown below. This will display a search result called either CMD.x in Windows 7 or command prompt in Windows 8 and Windows 10. To launch the command prompt, simply click on the command prompt search result as shown above and the Windows command prompt window will open. When the command prompt is started, you will be in your home direct at C users. You can now enter commands that you wish to execute and see their output in the command prompt. When you are ready to close the command prompt, you can type exit and press enter and the window will close. The executable associated with the Windows command prompt is C Windows, System32, CMD.x and can be launched directly from the Run dialog box. And the R at the same time and a box similar to the one below will open. In the open field type CMD and then press the OK button. After pressing the OK button, the Windows command prompt will open and you will be in your home directory, which is located C users. As shown below, you can now type commands that you wish to execute and see their output in the command prompt. When you are ready to close the command prompt, you can type exit and press enter and the window will close. If you are confused on how to use the command prompt, you should read our introduction to the Windows command prompt article. When making a change to the registry, it is recommended that you first create a export of the entries that you are about to modify. This allows you to save the information to a registry file or .reg file, so that if a problem occurs you can import the original settings back into the registry. If you are not able to connect to a particular site and its IP addresses is not resolving properly, it could be a problem with the DNS servers that you are connecting to or an incorrect DNS entry cached in the Windows DNS cache. This tutorial will explain how to flush your DNS cache to see if it fixes a problem connecting to a site. When using Windows 10, you may find that the Windows desktop has frozen and you can no longer use the start menu. Click on Programs drag files, or switch between windows. When this happens, it may be caused by the Windows Explorer or Explorer.x process having issues and can typically be fixed by restarting it. Windows Safe Mode is a way of booting up your Windows operating system in order to run administrative and diagnostic tasks on your installation. When you boot into Safe Mode the operating system only loads the bare minimum of software that is required for the operating system to work. This mode of operating is designed to let you troubleshoot and run diagnostics on your computer. Windows Safe Mode, with the release of the Windows the 10th of May 2019 update. Microsoft introduced a new security feature called Tampa Protection that protects security settings for Windows Defender antivirus from being disabled by malware or third-party programs. The MDER Vulnerability Management, Detection and Response, Discover, Assess prioritize, and patch critical vulnerabilities in real time and across your global hybrid IT landscape all from a single solution. Text source bleepingcomputer.com